Why, hello there. Um, welcome to the woods, my friends, AKA my backyard. But whenever you're tuning into this, regardless of the date that I posted this, this video is timeless. And it is the most divine timing for you to hear this. What are the angels saying today? This is from Journey to the Heart. If any of you guys have seen these videos before, I, I share them quite often. Well, not really, probably only like a few times. I read this every morning and whatever I'm reading, I just let sit with me, see how I feel, if anything comes up. I really do feel like they are divine messages for my angels and we all have an unlimited amount of angels that are literally like always around to help us. I know you might be like, oh my God, this chick actually sounds like crazy hippie right now. But seriously, we have so many angelic beings around us to help us all the time and they will never intervene with our lives because they respect our freedom and free will choice. However, know that they are available to you all the time. So if you ever have questions or you're ever just like needing some guidance and you're not sure where to go or who to talk to, honestly, just take a moment of silence and hey angels, maybe write it down. I'm feeling like this, but can you help me? Can you show me a sign if maybe you're needing to make a decision? Like, honestly, I have been waving in and out, but mostly in instead of out, in terms of like connecting with my angels on a very consistent basis for probably the last like four years now. And honestly, I have just felt this like sense of support that I've never felt before when I tune into that. So even though I might sound a little extra, if this is the first time you're ever hearing about something like this, um, just give it a chance. Like you don't have to say anything out loud. You don't have to like tell anybody. This is just a sacred little thing with yourself. Just getting that extra support that the universe has available to you. So without further ado, I'm going on a tangent as per usual, but it's good stuff, my friends. So let's get right into it. Night. Stay clear. Sometimes we don't tell other people what we're feeling. Sometimes we don't tell ourselves. Often on this journey, provocative events happen. Maybe we become resentful, angry, or frightened. Emotional energy builds up within, and if we don't take the time to work it out, the emotion becomes a block. It blocks the channel to our heart, it blocks the channel to ourselves, and it can block our connection to others and God. We may think we're being polite and appropriate by not saying what we feel, we may think that most thoughts and emotions are so minor it would be a waste of time to acknowledge them and express each and every one of them. And it is true that some aren't worth mentioning, but many are. We need to take the time to feel and release the thoughts and beliefs that are important to us. Is a relationship blocked? Are we feeling something we're unable to discuss? The feeling won't disappear. The energy of the unexpressed feeling will be present, blocking our connection until we take the time to get it out. We may not tell the other person what we're feeling, but all of us are wiser than we think. Our bodies and emotions will begin reacting to what's denied, despite what we say. Many of us experiment with the technique of using affirmations to try to further our growth. If we say we love ourselves, but we've got a chunk of self-reproach tucked down deep inside, we'll continue to act as if we dislike ourselves until we clear the other energy out. What are you feeling? What are you really feeling? Ask yourself as often as you need to, and then take the time to feel and release the emotion, thought, or belief. You've connected to yourself. You're connected to the world around you. Now keep your connections clear. Mm, that one was just like, okay, yup, gotta get on here and share this with the people. So that was today's messages from the angels. I hope you take care of yourselves and I will see you soon.